Now, let's go over the design of Suggestopedia and also the different uh, materials, learners' roles, and the teacher's role and characteristics that are needed for the execution of a unit, which is the lesson, lesson for Suggestopedia. Let us now go to the design. So, the objective of Suggestopedia is to deliver advanced conversational proficiency quickly. So, Suggestopedia bases its learning claims on students' mastery of prodigious list of vocabulary words. So, you need to master the vocabulary words with their translations that are presented during the lesson. And you do that by setting goals for, them, for themselves. So you do that by you execute that by doing your own uh, situational performance, your role play, your communication with your co-members. That is the output. Now, suggestopedia courses last 30 days. So with that 30 days, it's divided into uh, six days a week for each class. Every day, you spend four hours. So the central focus of Suggestopedia is for you to use 1,200 vocabulary words when you communicate in a dialogue. You do that in a dialogue style. You converse in a special situation provided by the teacher. And then also it's graded through Lexis and Grammar. Remember also that the dialogue is provided with, a, with an accompanying vocabulary list. So you should use the words presented in the list in the grammatical commentary. You will present there the lessons in grammar that you have learned during the Suggestopedia units. Okay, so it's divided into the... Uh, a unit is divided into three days. So day one, it's half day only. So, you will spend day one in general content of the unit dialogue. And then, the teacher will provide the copy of the printed dialogue with the translation counterpart. So, the Suggestopedia text is divided into two columns. The first column, it's the text in the target language. So, the left part will be the text in English. And then, the right part will be the text in uh, translation. It should be rather in Filipino if you will do it here in the Philippines. So, the left part would be the target language. The right part would be the native language. So, it will be presented to the students. Now, when they go to go back to class on the second day, they will be spending full four hours, no? full day. So, they will now have the primary elaboration of the text. So, how is that? You imitate. The teacher will read the story, then the, the students now will be given a chance to read the story as well. There will be question and answer if they, are, they have clarifications with the text, if they have um, information that they want to, clari to add or to clarify, and then the reading of the text, etc. Also, during that time, 150 new words will be presented. Those words or vocabulary are seen in the printed dialogue. You cannot add their things that, that are not included. And then on the third day, after the second day, you return back again. There's, there are no assignments. Huh? Those assignments that are given there are just uh, look at this uh, text, uh, look at the sentences, just read them. Those are the assignments. no. So that's half day. No, for day three, secondary elaborations, you will now do your performance task. So you can now produce, reproduce the dialogue in different situations, in different manner of, uh, of uh, conversation with other people and other combinations. You will now have small roles and conversations with your friends or your classmates rather there on the on the class okay so learning activities used in the method usually they are imitations the teacher will say that word they will be imitating that question and answer portions role play these are not activities 
the other language teachers would consider to be out of the ordinary. So they are integral to the lesson so that the learners can make progress as the teacher executes the flow of the unit of the ma- of the unit and the material. So class classes in uh, Suggestopedia is composed of 12 students only. So that's the limit. So six boys, six girls. They should always be equal. They should always be in circle formation. Classes are ideally socially homogeneous. So they, their aptitude is checked. They, have the same, they should have the same ability. They should be in one room. Okay. So what's the learner's role? The learner's role here are carefully prescribed in the unit. What are their... Uh, what should be done okay student should have their mental state in good condition it is critical to their success that's why when you attend a suggestopedia lesson you should not take mind altering drugs shabu uh, antidepressants uh, you should not take them Uh, alcohol is strictly prohibited to be taken during the duration of the unit of suggestopedia lessons because they believe that it alters the imagination it alters the decision making of part of the brain next learners must not try to figure out manipulate or study the material presented remember they should be relaxed they also must maintain the pseudo passive state Okay, they just relax, listen, perform what the teacher is the doing, follow them. Remember, the teacher has authority. Then, they're encouraged to do their own infantilization. So, they just follow. Teacher, teacher executes, students will follow. Okay, what's the role of the teacher? The primary role of the teacher is to create situations the learner ma- is ma- most suggestible and present the linguistic material in a way most likely to encourage positive reception and retention so the fa- the teacher is the facilitator and the executor of the lessons there the teachers must have the several expected behaviors that Lozano view as components to a successful learning number one they should show absolute confidence to the method that shows authoritativeness display fastidious conduct in manners and dress so they should dress properly they should be on their proper manners as well they should be courteous you know as if they're attending to VIPs organize properly and observe the initial stages of the teaching process so they should do the proper flow so nobody should be late even the teacher should not be late Maintain a solemn attitude. Give tests and respond tactful to poor learners. So, tests are given at random times. So, ano, it's uh, tests are used to check the students' um, progress. If they're not doing well, they would talk to the student. That is Soviet psychology, by the way. Then, stress global attitudes towards the material not individual attitudes and then maintain a modest enthusiasm okay what are the materials used here so materials consist of two support materials the direct support materials and the indirect support materials the direct support materials are text which are situated in a textbook which are located in the textbook rather and tape at that time they used tape now we use mp3s and indirect support materials like classroom fixtures and music the textbook for the material should have emotional force it will affect their emotions it will move their imagination it has a literary quality and interesting characters now traumatic themes themes horror sadness breakups they have no space in Suggestopedia. Also, no themes with uh, vulgar words. There should be. They should be avoided, according to Lozanov. Now, how about the learning environment? 
the learning environment also plays a central role in suggestopedia. It involves the appearance of the classroom. It should be bright and cheery. You know, remember that when you apply bright colors in your room, it uh, brings a light mood to the speaker uh, to the students. Furniture. It is suggested that they use recline, reclining chairs arranged in a circle. Um, other other sources would mention that they can also use uh, relaxing chairs. Those uh, those you can uh, lie on to or sit in a different uh, in a different way. And the music. There's a specific music, baroque, and the baroque style should be in Largo it is slow but broad so here's a sample of the music used for suggestopedia suggest Now, let us go over the procedure in doing a Suggestopedia lesson or a unit. So, there are three phases and we will discover it here. This is how you execute a Suggestopedia lesson. So, you will now start with the oral review session. In the oral review session, learned material is reviewed during this time. So, the first day you were provided with the text, you will now review that. Then students sit in a circle. Discussion proceeds like a seminar. So there is really a lecture. There are two also two um, studies that will be done to check and recall the grammar parts and the vocabs that you have learned. We'll start with the micro study. These are questions and answers that focuses on grammar and vocabulary. So. This will be the time they'll be asked questions, the answers will be provided, and then you will analyze the grammar and the vocabulary used in the answers. Then also they will perform macro study. Macro study emphasizes on role play and innovative language constructions. So it involves describing an object, describing your friends, um, telling a story, uh, acting a memory from a memory, so you'll be doing that but you will apply the dialogues the grammar and the vocabulary that you learn during the the previous material then you will now present the new material the material will be given so you will go and look over the new dialogue and the native language translation you will discuss any issues about the text if you cannot read it read them well if you cannot follow then grammar vocabulary and content are presented there the presentation is conducted in the target language which is english then after the presentation of the new material they will now proceed with the concert sessions or the seance seance or concert sessions happen in two sessions with the new material to be utilized let's now start with the first concert session the first concert session involves the active presentation of the material to be learned. The original form of Suggestopedia is presented by Lozanov. It consists of the use of extended dialogues. It's often several pages in length, ac accompanied by vocabulary lists and observations on grammatical points. Typically, these dialogues will be read aloud to students by the teacher. To the accompaniment of Baroque music, using a different kind of intonation, rhythm, and pacing. So here now, the teacher will read the text in exaggerated tones, in, uh, intonation, rhythm, and pacing. They will jive to the music. After that, they will now go to the sec second chance, which is uh, the students are now guided to relax and just listen in a normal tone. Normal intonation, normal face. In a re normal reading face. 
they just listen together with another set of baroque music the best choice of music according to Lozanov with the text being studied very quietly in the background during both types of reading the learners will sit in comfortable seats armchairs rather than classroom chairs in a comfortable environment so that's why you need a reclining chairs there after the readings of these long dialogues with the accompaniment of music the teacher will then make use of the dialogues for more conversational language work this is now where the teacher will um, ask them to imitate the text the text dialogues the music brings the students into the optimum mental state for the effortless acquisition of the material the students then make and practice the dialogue after they memorize the content of the materials after the sian sessions the use of a range of role plays games puzzles etc to review and consolidate the learning will be done so that is now the second secondary elaboration so they'll now do activities that will uh, enhance the communicative use of the language and the vocabulary written tests are administered once in a while to assess learning and to assist the learners remember the teacher's role is to give tests and to respond tactfully to poor papers and poor students by applying suggestopedia lozanov and the educators believe that students will gain concert pseudo passiveness concert pseudo passiveness means that students will get relaxed and they will be learning passively through music and listening and interacting with their classmates by different activities such as role playing uh, conversations and other puzzle activities that the teacher can then can present after presenting the material with the dialogues to the students after the seance. The application of the study of suggestion to pedagogy has been developed to help students believe that they can be successful and thus to help them overcome the barriers to learning. Watch how direct and indirect suggestions are made in the lesson. Suggestopedia will be demonstrated by my colleague, Lisa Sparrow. Okay, good morning. This morning, good morning. morning. This morning we're going to work with a reading passage. What I'd like to do is, that ask, is to ask that you get ready by relaxing a little bit. Just sit back. I'm going to put on some different music, and then I'm going to read. I'm going to read something, and I'm going to act it out for you. And then I'm going to turn the music off, and I'm going to read it again, but this time without acting it out. And at that point, I'd like you just to listen and to see how much you remember and you understand. Okay? So that's how we'll begin. You can just be taking a deep breath, being grateful. It's such a nice, beautiful morning today. You'll like this music. It reminds me of the early morning. Nice. You kind of pretend you're back home in your apartment and it's Saturday morning and you didn't have to go anywhere. That's the story of this woman. <clears throat> So this is my bed, and my name is Sarah, and I'm about to start reading the passage. So, Sarah woke up early, the sun pouring through the apartment window. She stretched lazily and placed her feet one by one on the floor. Rising from the bed, she tiptoed through the boxes, which lay everywhere, and put a kettle of water on to boil. Waiting, she glanced over all her possessions, grateful she had the whole day before her. She scooped 
instant coffee into a cup and poured in the now boiling water. Stirring the coffee, she tried to decide where to begin. She took a quick sip of coffee and searched out her box of books. She ordered them neatly on a shelf. Then she lifted her suitcase onto her bed. She unlatched the clasps and opened it. And hung her dresses carefully in the closet. Then she put the rest of her clothes in her chest of drawers. In the last box, she found the dishes her mother had given her. She washed them thoroughly dried them all and laid them carefully in the cupboard. As she closed the cupboard door, she sighed and looked at the calendar. Tomorrow, her roommate would come, but for now, Sarah had a home of her own. Okay, now I'm going to ask that you just listen. I'm going to put on a different kind of music and I'm going to read this at normal speed. And I'd like you to just um, listen to it and see if you can kind of bring the images back of what it was that I did and see how much you can understand just as I go back through it. see how easy English is going to be as you hear it back played again. <sighs> Sarah woke up early, the sun pouring through the apartment window. She stretched lazily and placed her feet one by one on the floor. Rising from the bed, she tiptoed through the boxes which lay everywhere and put a kettle of water on to boil. Waiting, she glanced over all her possessions, grateful she had a whole day before her. She scooped instant coffee into a cup and poured in the now boiling water. Stirring the coffee, she tried to decide where to begin. She washed them thoughtfully dried them all, and laid them carefully in the cupboard. As she closed the cupboard door, she sighed and looked at the calendar. Tomorrow, her roommate would come, but for now, Sarah had a home of her own. Okay, what I'd like to do now is give you each a copy of this. If you could pass them to each other. And then stand up. We're going to read it together and see if we can act it through. First, let's see if we can help ourselves remember all of this vocabulary, all these verbs. All right, let's try and act it out together. And the idea here is that every time you say something, if you can do an action, that will help you remember more of the vocabulary. So, again, 
So we'll wait, so we'll start and we'll read together and act as much as you can. If you need a little space, maybe you want to move over just a little bit so you don't poke other people. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay. Sarah woke up early. Right. The sun pouring through the apartment window. She stretched lazily. She stretched lazily. And th keep reading with me. And placed her feet one by one on the floor. Good. She tried to decide where to begin. <laughs> she took a quick sip of coffee and searched out her box of books. She ordered them neatly on the shelf. Then she lifted her suitcase onto the bed. She unlatched the clasps, opened it, and hung her dresses carefully in the closet. Great. Then she put the rest of her clothes in the chest of drawers. Okay, very good. Okay, sit down. Yeah. Good. Okay. You're very smart. Have you noticed? Yes. Okay. This is easy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is easy. Piece of cake. Right. Okay. Let's work a little bit on this uh, pronunciation here. Here are some of the verbs we have. And as you see, I have them coded in colors. Let's see if you can hear what the difference is in the pronunciation. Can you read this one? Tiptoed. Stretched. What's the difference there? Tiptoed. Stretched. This is a D and this is a T. A very interesting aspect of English uh, pronunciation in the past tense. Let's try these and see if this is true. Let's read. Tiptoed. Ordered. Opened. Closed, poured, tried, dried, sighed, stretched, placed, glanced, scooped. Do you hear it? Stirred, unlatched, washed, looked. Great. If you could take out the envelope that you have on your chair now, I have a surprise for you. Okay. You'll see that one, the pink card, has a D on it, right? And the blue has a T. What I'd like you to do is to get so that you have one in each hand. Probably be easiest if everybody had the same one. So if you had your T in your left hand and your D in your right hand, okay? I'm going to stand in front of this. Now, I'm going to say one of these verbs, and I'd like you to listen carefully and see if you think it ends in a D or a T. All right? Okay, just by listening as best you can. All right. Stretched. Should have the blue. Yeah, the blue. Stretched. It's good. It's listening. Okay. Listen. Okay. Placed. Blue. Glanced. Blue. <laughs> Jello. <laughs> you're, you're relaxing too much. We need to be relaxed and alert. Okay. Relaxed and alert. All right. Opened. Hey, good. Okay. That should be pink. Okay. Closed. Anna, <laughs> Anna plays it safe. She puts two cards up. All right. Okay. Tried. <laughs> One at a time. Tried. Okay. Okay. Can't look. Okay. Unlatched. Washed. Good. Anna, one hand. <laughs> She's sitting there like this with two hands. All right. Unlatched. Unlatched. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, you're getting pretty good, so I think we'll stop there. That you can practice that a little bit later. All right. If you, I could ask you um, now to free your hands. You don't have to put things on the floor, but you're going to need your hands. See if we can do a little practice 
with the verbs that are irregular. These were all nice and easy because they had an ED on the end. But see if we can work with some of the verbs that aren't. I'm going to throw you the present tense of the verb. And it just, just for your security's sake, we have them here. Wake, woke, lie, lay, put, put. All right. I'll say the present. And I'll throw the ball to you. And if you can say the past. OK? Ready? Yes. OK. Put. <laughs> Good. Lie. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> That's always safe. It gives you more time. Lay. Take. Look. Have. Bone. Have. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Have. Did it hurt? You're okay. She's tough. Okay. Have. Have. Good. Um, wake. Look. Take. Look. Good. All right, everybody. Great. Thanks. Okay, now if you could take some time to go over these uh, with a partner, the green sheets. This will give you a chance to practice your pronunciation and to see if you can remember some of the words. So if you could work in twos, um, two, four, six, eight, one, yeah, I think you are, there are even, you might have to, there are 24? Okay, so there should theoretically be partner for everybody. All right, what I'd like to do is have you practice one person reading through and the other person act it out. Okay, just a little bit. All right? Okay, so one person read and the other person act out. You want to read. Okay, Kofi is reading, so then you have to act. Just turn to each other, just in your seat. You don't have to move too much. Just for practice reading. Maybe we'll have time. Sarah once woke up early. So you turn. Oh. The sun pouring through the apartment window. I think there's an extra person, so, so maybe three people. Can you read and they two act? Okay. okay. I hope you've had a chance to go through it at least once. We now need a volunteer to be Sarah, and we, the class, will read, and one person can come up and see if they can go through the activity. Shokri. Beautiful Sarah. Here she comes. All right, come. Yes. Okay, we need the beautiful music, too. All right, so Sarah can go to bed, and all of us will do the work. We'll read. Okay. <laughs> he looks very comfortable. Okay, ready? Sarah woke up early. The sun pouring through the apartment window. She stretched lazily and placed her feet one by one on the floor. Rising from the bed, she tiptoed through the boxes which lay everywhere and put a kettle of water on to boil. Waiting, she glanced over all her possessions. Glance over all your possessions. She had the whole day before her. As she closed the cupboard door, she sighed and, and looked, looked at, at the calendar. And, 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 and. Tomorrow her roommate would come, but for now, Sarah had a home of her own. own. Bravo. Very well done. He was a very beautiful Sarah, don't you think? <laughs> All right, now just to see how much uh, we can work with this and to give you a little bit homework for the next class, I'd like to ask that you turn your paper over. I'm going to give you a, a short dictation of some of the words. Is this very difficult? Piece of cake, right? Okay. Relax. Okay. All right. Again, I'm going to read you a few sentences. They're not the same as from the story. They're the same words, but they're different sentences. All right? Got that? The same words, familiar words from this reading, but different sentences. Okay? The first one. 
Sarah looked over the dishes her mother had sent her. Sarah looked over the dishes her mother had sent her. She glanced at the dresses which hung in her closet and quickly put them in her suitcase and quickly put them in her suitcase. Okay then, your homework for tomorrow, you have two quick and easy things to do. One would be to check the dictation against the proper spelling on the other side and then bring that to class tomorrow with any questions you have. And second, if, before you go to bed tonight, if you could just take a minute and take out this piece of paper and read it through for yourself, trying to remember as best you can some of the pronunciation and the intonation that we've worked with today. Okay? So see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Bye.